So we're going to be doing a little demo of Bellows. Bellows is a command line app that gets your site up and running from your computer up to your Laravel Forge server extremely fast. We're going to be launching this fake project called Link Leap. This is what we're ultimately launching. It's just a bunch of Tailwind components put together. It's nothing. It's fake. But it's loaded up with a bunch of third-party services so that we can watch how Bellows can auto-configure these things for you as you launch. We're in our project directory, so we're going to do Bellows launch. And let's see what happens. Awesome. Uh, we're going to do our Bellows testing server. This is one of our Forge servers. What Bellows is doing right now is it's reading in the env file and any install packages, and it's able to offer intelligent defaults to most of these questions. So most of the time, you can just keep pressing enter, and it'll probably be correct. App name, link leap. Domain, linkleapapp.com. That's our isolated user. That's the repository. That's the branch we want. So it's important to note that this is the second time that I've run Bellows. And so the first time you run Bellows, obviously you have to render some API keys for Forge and some of your connected services, but we always provide you a direct link to do that. You paste it in and you keep going, and then you don't have to do that again. In this case, Bellows detected that linkleapapp.com, the DNS is managed at Cloudflare, and it supports Cloudflare, so it can help manage your DNS along the way if you'd like to. Yes, we'd like to secure the site. Because Bellows is reading in the information about your project, it's able to intelligently enable and disable a bunch of different plugins based on that information. So we're okay with the defaults. It looks like it chose the correct plugins for my project. Let's do it. Yes, we would like Bellows to update the DNS records to point to our server. Thank you. Now we're going to set up Bugsnag. That's the Bugsnag account I want. Let's create a new project. Let's call it Link Leap. That's done. That's the PHP project I want. Yes, yes. Yes, we are going to use the DigitalOcean managed databases for this project. That's our database. That's our database user. That's the account we want. And so Bellows is going out, it's creating that database and that user, and it's grabbing the credentials for the ENV file on Forge. Yes, we are going to use Fathom to track the site. That's our Fathom account. We want to create a new Fathom site. And yes, that's the site name. We are using Postmark to send our mail. So let's go ahead and configure that. Let's create a new Postmark server. Link Leap looks good. Blue is fine. We do want to create a new Postmark domain. That looks good. What it just did is it created all that information in Postmark and it went ahead and verified our domain with Postmark already using the DNS records. We're going to use Transactional. Our app uses Pusher. Let's go and grab the credentials for that. It's going to be link leap. Perfect. Do we want to add any queue workers? Yeah, we do. Our, our site's going to use queues, yes. So it's going to be the database connection. It auto fills for you some of the default connection types. Uh, the queue is default. Those defaults look good. Nope, we're good there. Uh, we do want to enable quick deploy. We don't need any security rules, but if you did, you can add basic auth security rules right here. The username, the password, and the paths that it should be applied to. And we're doing it. So right now, it's creating our site in Forge. Created the site, creating the repository. Okay, so it's updating our environment variables. It's updating our deploy script for anything that needs to be changed. Uh, and it gives you a little summary at the end here. All the environment variables that it set. This is our final deploy script. It didn't add any daemons. It did add a worker, and it added our schedule run job. Let's open it up in Forge. The one thing it didn't do is it didn't do the initial deploy. I think it's important that you look over what Bellows did before you make your initial deploy and make sure that everything looks right and that you're comfortable with the way everything is set up. But as you can see here, we have our full deploy script. We can check our ENV, and here we can see that all of these values that we needed are auto injected into the env uh, from bellows and so let's do our initial deploy and while we're waiting for that you can also see that we already set up ssl automatically for uh, the domain our initial deployment is done and let's check it out there it is we have our fully deployed app fully secured fully configured not too shabby. So if you want to check it out, you can check it out at bellows.dev.